code once again my name is graphics today we want to solve another problem on line problems and the figure we'll be considering will be this right now first thing i said earlier first of all look at the external distance which is the diameter of this circle and the diameter is what 30 so you're dividing that is 90 so you're dividing 90 by 2 and you're having 45 so it will be the radius of 45 that you are going to use to draw your circle, right? So what I'll do is I'll take the radius of 45 on my meter rule. Or before you start, take your C square, place it like this, right? And um, after doing that, you draw your horizontal line. You can see that. And with the same... You take your compass, your test compass, your C square, and you place it, and you draw your vertical line, right? So in doing that, you'll be having something like this. So by measuring the radius of the circle, which is 45, like I said earlier, you take um, from zero, let put this way, from zero, here yeah, to 45 here yeah. can you see that and i'm going to place it at the center here and i'm going to draw my circle i'll take it so when i take it i'll be having this are we good so the next thing if you look at this very well it's telling me that after the circle i'll draw my two center line here right so how we know a center line it is when you place it this way mm -hmm. and uh, you draw a longer one a shorter one a longer one a shorter one a longer one shorter one longer one shorter one the longer one so with that you come here also do the same thing for this also so we have um a longer one, shorter one, longer one, shorter one, longer one, shorter one, longer one, shorter one, and longer one. That is my center line that I'll just draw in here. Now the next thing you do if you look at this very well. We have um, a square. That's in I'll draw a straight line, this line here, more like a square, touching this center line. So let's do that. So take my compass, my C square, and I'm going to draw it from here to here. I'll take it, as shown in diagram, and I'll draw it from here to here. I'll take it, as shown in diagram. I'll place it here also. Place it here also. So this is what I will do. So I successfully drawn the line. This, 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 and this. Now it's telling me that another line is at the center here, which is another um, center line there, at an angle of 45. So what you simply just have to do here, you can take your 45 degrees square, or you can take your compass. Any of them is your choice, and you place it on your T square like this this is my t square here i'm zooming my t square and i'm going to place it here based on the t square any line that is passing through here and let me put it this way so so any line that is passing through here will be my center line my spot five degree because when you put the t square so i'll come here center long short Long shot, long shot, long shot. So when my t my c square is placed on my t square, yeah, for five degrees c square to become forty five. So that is the angle forty five there. Then I'll turn it the other way around also. Turn the other way around. This way. So I'll be able to do the other aspect too. So from here, I'll do the same thing. This, this, this. This, 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 and this. 
you can see that. So I successfully drawn that 45, which is this line here. The angle is 45, and the other one here too, 45 too. Now what will I do? I'm going to draw a triangle from each of those bases. Now, this will be the base of one of my triangles. This is the base, right? So I'll take this as the apex point of my triangle. I'm going to draw this to this. Then this to this. There is one apex. The other point will be another apex. Where the so from this straight down here from this straight down here. Then another apex. Is another apex again? It's a square as my base. Here to here. Here to here. Then another one again. Then another one again. And the apex from here to here. And from here to here. So I've used all the apex. Now if you look at this very well. To discover that from this point to this point here which is this point to this point i'll draw a hidden line round through like that so let's do that and see so if i take this man here from this point to this other point i'll draw my hidden line short 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 uniformly distributed through then from here also the same thing Short, short, short. This uniform distributed to then here also do the same thing. Short, short. So this is what we call how you do your hidden line. So, okay. so that's what we're having. So successfully drawn this right so you can do your use your compass and draw your dimensioning from the base here from the center you place it at this distance and you just draw your arc maybe from here straight down to this point you can see so if i do that i can take my compass and uh, my pencil and i will do this and I'll do this. And I'll do this. And I'll do this. So the angle here is 45 degree. The angle here also is 45 degree. Right? Why this one here? Triangle what? Diameter what? 90, which is my square there. How good? So thank you for watching. If this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.